Welcome, I'm Dr. Chris Zimmer, and I wanted to do another video to update you on a few new things that I've found, uh, including the fifth and final date. And first, let's take a look at some breaking news. Uh, Israel is at war. Netanyahu says, we are at war. October 7th, on the 50th anniversary of the Yom Kippur War, Israel was attacked by Hamas. Israel was bombarded by 2,500 rockets with at least 348 dead and 50-plus Israeli hostages taken into Gaza. In addition, Israel has been invaded. This is from CBN and British Channel 4 News. Uh, we saw this coming a few months ago in the signs that I showed you. Uh, if we look from the Sun-Jupiter conjunction on April 8th, uh, to the Feast of Trumpets this year, September 15th through 17th, where Mars was in Virgo, Virgo representing Israel and Mars representing war. Uh, and we have three day counts from that, 160, 161, and 162. 160 is unexpected or sudden, unforeseen, and this certainly was an unforeseen attack. And 161 is captivity, and 162 is take captive. So we're certainly seeing this playing out now. So we know our time is short. I wanted to go over the five witnesses which revealed five dates uh, to show you what's already been fulfilled and what we yet have to see. On 725, the Maya calendar adjusted to 365 solar days ends the year on, three, on 725, the day out of time. And the witnesses time 8.53 a.m. IDT on 726 establishes by the time zones the two days present in the world, 725 and 726 during the event. And the fulfillment of this day was Patrick at Hourly Watch discovered the child asteroid in the second Revelation 12 sign. And then 726, and this date, I'm not going to go over it if you want to see the witnesses Please go back to my earlier videos. That's much too long to put into this one. Uh, but this date was given by all five witnesses. And the fulfillment was Patrick at Hourly Watch when he released his find to the public on a video on July 26th. Uh, and we still have another fulfillment yet to be because we had got that clue that said twice. So we'll see a fulfillment on 726. It should be twice this year. The next one is 9-18-23, when we uh, revealed by the Maya calendar and heavenly signs and the fulfillment was the UN adopts the political declaration to accelerate Agenda 2030. The language such as to breathe life into it and to make it real and in the name of Allah reveals this is the beast out of the earth described in Revelation 13, 16, and 17. The Mark 666 in Greek bears a striking resemblance to the phrase, in the name of Allah, followed by two crossed swords in Arabic. The swords imply beheadings, and we saw that in the, in the uh, pie strings. We saw the word beheading. Implementation of a digital currency likely through the IMF to be funded by the nations was discussed. They promised reform of the global financial system. So we see the, the beast being... Uh, born here. Then on 919, the second witness had revealed this date from the edge angles of New Jerusalem City as a count of 180 days from Nissan 1. Patrick at Hourly Watch discovered a second Revelation 12 sign occurring on this date. On the Hebrew calendar, this day is Tishri 4, which is singled out by both Revelation's seven churches preceding chapter 4 in which we see a, a rapture scenario takes place, and in Micah 7, 4, which states, The day of thy watchman and thy visitation cometh. Apparently the word cometh means it's on its way, as evidenced by the numerous signs. So it, wasn't, it didn't actually happen that day, but it's, it's saying, look up, it's on the way. And the fulfillment, Comet Nishimura, the head was joined to the body Virgo by Comet Shoemaker-Levy, portraying the union of Christ with his church at the rapture, the second Revelation 12 sign depicting the birth of the child, the asteroid, appeared in Virgo. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, 1011, okay, this one 
is coming up. Also, Tishri 7, or the seventh month, I'm sorry, not the date 7, but Tishri, the seventh month, uh, the 26th day, 5994, on the Hebrew calendar. This date was revealed by all five witnesses. This day was also revealed by both the, the date of the child asteroid birth, 9-15-2023, in which 202 is embedded within the number 153, and by the comet Nishimura, Excellent Husband, it, which was in close conjunction with the asteroid Jean Golovich, 1734, which means my beloved, on 922 at 1734 IDT. So here's this number, 1734, tying the two together, saying, look at this, this is important. The number 202 represents a day count from Nissan 1 to 1011. The number 22 also represents a day count from the signs on 919 to 1011. So we've got two num- uh, day counts that both uh, converge on that same date, 1011. The numbers, numbers the the cha- the uh, the book in the Bible, numbers ten ten and ten eleven, not only signify the two dates of the rapture found, but give the day counts two o two and twenty two as well as confirmation, pending fulfillment. So we've had four dates so far, and they've all been fulfilled with something significant. So look for something to happen on ten eleven albeit the rapture. And if we look at October 2023, uh, on Hebcal, I believe this was, the two days, 10, 11, are the 25th and 26th of Tishri, which are 725 and 726 on the Hebrew calendar. Also, uh, Israel daylight time will be observed in Jerusalem until October 29th, 2023 at 2 a.m., So IST, or standard time, becomes the start of winter. So this seems like, officially, we're still in IDT. So we're still uh, still in the summertime for Jerusalem, according to this. I want to go back just for a sec and show you the timeline I did in in a few videos ago. Uh, This is now becoming relevant uh, in terms of the the two four-year... Uh, gaps or the two four-year uh, time periods, one at the beginning of Jesus' ber- or his life and one at the end of his life towards the crucifixion. We have, this came out of the Mayan calendar, eight kumku, which said two lord. The kumku means two lord. And if you break that eight up into f- two stints of four years, it makes sense. This is four years at the beginning of Jesus' life uh, from 4 B.C. to 1 B.C., and then another four-year stint from 26 A.D., which was the uh, the the Holy Spirit coming down on him, uh, the uh, baptism, and then four years later in 30 A.D., the crucifixion. So we've got two four-year stints here marked out. And we also, actually, we have a, a third if we look back at the Maya mythical creation date and then the fall of man, we have... 857 years from 3971 B.C., and then if we subtract four years from that 857, we get 853, which is the number of the Aleph Tav, so there's Jesus again. All right, so I'm not going to teach you calculus here. I just wanted <laughs> I just wanted to get into this a little bit to show you that this is relevant. Strings within the number pi, and we can define them now that we know that we have these four-year periods. The life of Jesus on the timeline, bracketed by two four-year periods, one starting at 4 BC and ending at 1 AD, and the other beginning at 26 AD and ending at 30 AD. These appear like boundary conditions in a boundary value problem. So this this is mapped out by the eight kumku clue from the Mayan calendar. In calculus, a boundary value problem is commonly a differential equation which describes a region constrained by boundary conditions. So you can see in the gray, there's the region. So that would be described by differential equations. And then it's bounded by that black line. And that's a set of one or more equations which describes the boundary conditions. It seems the pi strings of data follow this pattern. Four word clues appear before the date and after. 
So let's take a look at an example. This is the date 726 5784 on the Hebrew calendar. And if we count the 726 as one of the clues, then we can do four clues on the left and four, four clues on the right of the year. And we get 949, which is sure, firm, 732, which is sick folk, or to be sick or sickly, 375, which is send again, and this implies Jesus to be sent again. He's going to have a second coming, we believe, in 2030. And then, of course, the harpazo caught up. And then this message, since this we're looking at a Hebrew date on the Hebrew calendar, and it's off by 210 years, then, you know, that's why we're looking at these sort of strange clues that say these were not on the right track. If we look at both years 5783 and 5784, uh, these are 210 years off to signify the years the Jews were in Egypt. They don't count those years. And if we look at the Strong's for that, 5783 is naked and 5784 is chaff. So these are, these are not good signs. These are saying the, if you're looking at this date, if you're going with the you know, tr uh, traditional Hebrew, the Hebrew tradition, then you're on the wrong track. You're not with Christ. The G294 means close, and it's used as, Behold, I'm coming as a thief. Blessed is he who watches and keeps his garments, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. Then the next one is putting off, in whom also ye are circumcised with the circumcision made without hands, and putting off the body of the sins of the flesh by the circumcision of Christ. So again, pointing towards Christ as the answer. And then... Uh, G659, to put away, is almost like divorcement. And then the next one, 647, is divorcement, writing of divorce. And we know that's what happened to the Jews because they didn't accept Christ. So, And then that clue, send again, that indicates that he'll be coming back. All right, 726-5993. So now we're on the, the correct track. We, haven't, we have not subtracted 210 years uh, we It looks like we're in the true Hebrew year, coming up on year 6,000. So let's look at the clues for that. Uh, 257 is floor, threshing floor, for example. And that's used in Luke, whose fan is in his hand, and he will thoroughly purge his floor and will gather the wheat. So this seems to be talking about the, the, uh, the rapture, gather the wheat. And then strong 795 to Ur. And this speaks to the body, I believe, which some professing have erred concerning the faith. Grace be with thee. Amen. So that's an encouraging word. Uh, 140, to choose. Behold my servant whom I have chosen, my beloved in whom my soul is well pleased. So uh, another word of encouragement. And then, of course, Harpazo. We're coming up on the Harpazo, but we're still in 5993, which is indicating July 26 for that 726 not the not the second one that comes up in the year but the first one and then 5993 is the name Aminadib my people are willing and then we have without distraction and then of course by the world uh, shut up the door closed I never knew you so this is about to happen judgment and I'm not quite sure how this is meant but it's it's from the Strong's number 144 perhaps alluding to the 144,000 or the 1.44 billion escaping and causing judgment. Uh, and then 258, Fox, and that was usually considered to be Herod, where Jesus informs Herod he will continue to do miracles. Okay, so let's, let's go to the true Hebrew year, 5994, and look at the second occurrence of 726, or October 11th, 2023. And the first clue is uncover, which that certainly has been uncovered in many different ways and many different signs. Also, 792 star, I, Jesus, have sent mine angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright and morning star. And we certainly will see that if the rapture occurs on that day. 
855 is vanish out of sight. Now we've got something confirming Harpazo. This is another one, 855, that says to vanish out of sight. For example, taken out of sight or made invisible. So this is yet another word for, you know, that, that says Harpazo. And then we have the word Harpazo, 726, caught up. And then the year, 5994, means deep. He revealeth the deep and secret things. He knoweth what is in the darkness, and the light dwelleth with him. So we certainly are getting a lot revealed. <laughs> uh, 837 is to increase. And Patrick at Hourly Watch found asteroid Jody, which biblically means Jehovah increases or is praised. And then 382, innumerable, we know that applies to the great multitude. And then suddenly we have a strange one here. 519 is hangs, hang oneself. And the usage is only used one time. And he cast down the pieces of silver in the temple and departed and went and hanged himself. And this, of course, is Judas. Uh, and this may refer to what's happening back on earth after the rapture happens. And then 381 is kindle. I am come to send fire on the earth. Okay, so that's... Uh, one occurrence at 726, 5994. And then if we go back to what I showed you originally, and, and I think it was either my first or second video, uh, we get 726, 2023, 853, 6. And the 853 is the time. The 6 alludes to Anno Mundi when, uh, uh, for that clue, 6 when Abel was alive on the earth. And then, of course, 726, 2023, now is revealed to be the second occurrence of the 726, which would be October 11th. And these, the words that went along with this uh, particular clue still, uh, still ring true. We start on one side and we get conceal, truly, age long, and then we have the harpazo, and then minister unto for the year, and then 853, to snatch out of sight, to put out of view, make unseen, and then a release affected by payment of ransom, and then finally we leave. So this is a, a very vivid uh, picture of the rapture to come. All right. Uh, also got several clues that are pointing us now to 1011, and that 726 occurs twice. And it's interesting that in Numbers 10.10, which is one of the dates, 10.10, October 10th, uh, blow with the trumpets, the trumpets is the theme. And then Numbers 10.11, which of course is the day in Israel, October 11th. And this is about the cloud being taken up off the tabernacle. And it gives a clue, 20th day, second month, and the second year and that gives 20th, uh, second month, second year, contains the numbers 202 and 22. And if we look at, and I've adjusted this now for not looking at the Hebrew tradition, but looking at 5994 as the actual Hebrew date, then we have Nisan 1 plus 202 brings us to Tishri 26, and Tishri 4 plus 22 days brings us to Tishri 26. Both clues bring us to the same day. And that's 726-5994, which is the same as 10-11-2023, the date we're looking at. And the first one, 726, is July 26, was fulfilled by the revealing of the birth of the child. And 726, the second one on the Hebrew calendar, 5994, is yet to be fulfilled October 11th. And we hope that's the Harpazo. Uh, I just want to throw something quick in here that Patrick at Hourly Watch found. He lists a whole bunch of asteroids in constellation Aquarius, and Saturn is there as well. We see the groom, we see Cyrene, an ancient uh, Greek city in North Africa, and this was the man from Cyrene who helped Jesus carry the cross. And we see Soldan, which really means sultan, or the ruler of an Islamic country. And we see Russia and China. And I wanted to note that Russia and China are in Aquarius, while America and United Nations are in Virgo. So two different things happening there, saying that 
uh, Sultan or Islamic country, Russia, China, all that is, is in Aquarius, and that's going to become important in the next age because we're switching from the age of Pisces to Aquarius. Uh, we don't know exactly the date for that, but it looks like it's coming up very soon. And America and United Nations again play a role with the child in Virgo. Uh, two scriptures from Matthew that talk about the end of the age, uh, teaching them always, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. And then it also talks about the harvest is the end of the age. So we're coming close to the end of the age. <laughs> uh, all right, now this, this builds upon something that Aaron at God a Minute brought up. Uh, he mentioned that he found, or I think it was one of his commenters found, uh, that Kaf and Lamed, the two letters that are at the middle of the Hebrew alphabet, uh, numbers 11 and 12, right in the middle, uh, their numerical values ring out 20, 30. Okay, so that, that is interesting in and of itself. And also that Kaf and Lamed, their position, 11 and 12, if you add that together, you get 23. So we get the years 23 and 2030. But there's more information, I believe. If we take the four letters in the very middle of the Hebrew alphabet, Yod, Kaf, Lamed, and Mem, and you can see at the top row there counting right to left because we read in Hebrew from right to left, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, so those are the positions. And then uh, if we count inward from the ends of the alphabet towards the center, which is depicted by the dotted line, then we end up going from the uh, position from the beginning. We can count 10 and 11 or the last letters, Yod and Kaf. And then if we count uh, from the end position, count in uh, 10 and 11 letters, then we get to Mem and Lamed. So we have two instances of 10, 11, and that looks like October 11th. It looks like this is hiding the day of the rapture. So October 11th, 23, and then he brought up the scripture Isaiah 40, 10, 11. There's that number again. Behold, the Lord God will come with a strong hand. His arm shall rule for him. Uh, his reward is with him. He shall gather the lamb. So this seems to be, again, speaking of rapture. And if we look up that from Isaiah 40, we look up the 40, uh, we see that it means saints. So if we examine that last row at the bottom for the numerical values, uh, we have the number 40, which means saints. And then we have 30 times 20, times 10, if we multiply those three together, we get 6,000, which is the final year before the thousand-year reign or the millennial reign of Christ. So I think that's how that last line should read, 40 is saints, and then multiply those three together to get 6,000. And then going back through it again, we have 2030, and then we have what looks like 1011 written twice, for the year 23, likely the day of the rapture. Okay, now let's go into the fun section to do some strange things. Uh, I just wanted to mention something. I personally have flown once before on an L-1011, and could this be a God instance where my 1011 flight will be this year again, only vertically? <laughs> so, okay. Let's take a look at, uh, what was this, from Twilight Zone. <clears throat> Nightmare at 20,000 Feet is the third episode of the fifth season American television anthology series, The Twilight Zone, based on the short story of the same uh, name by Richard Matheson, first published in the short story anthology Alone by Night. And it originally aired on October 11th, <laughs> 1963. Uh, if we take the year we're in now, 2023, and we subtract 1963, we get 60 years. And if we look up 60, we have law. 
Then, if we go, the episode was remade in 1983 by the director, George Miller. Um, and this the fellow was played uh, by John Lifgow. And if we take this year again, 2023, and subtract that 1983, we get 40 years. And Strong's 40 is saints. So we have, we have what looks like the law versus the saints. And finally... Adam Scott was cast in an episode for the 2019 reboot, uh, Night, Nightmare at 30,000 Feet. So now we've got 30,000 feet and 20,000 feet, saying again, 2030. So we've got, we have the dates apparently <laughs> listed in the Twilight Zone, 10, 11, 23, and 2030. Very interesting. I also happened to notice a television station called 1011 Now, and that's, I guess that's two stations, K-O-L-N and K-G-I-N in Lincoln, Nebraska. Uh, just one little interesting thing. And let's look at some Star Trek, uh, Harpazo, The Final Frontier, These Are the Vanishings. I happen to have this book. This is Starfleet Technical Manual. And if you turn to the page designation 202, like in the clues, you'll see the United Nations flag. And I, th I thought this was rather interesting that they've, they're both on the same page. 202 days from Nissan 1 is 10-11, 2023, of course. Uh, and if we further look at the uh, first edition, which was out in 1975, it was out uh, 1101 1975 which is 10 11 reversed and then 75 to depict the uh, 75 years I believe that Israel has been around so we get for Israel it's backwards 10 11 I thought that was rather strange but we still have a 20th anniversary edition and a 30th anniversary edition so there's that 2030 again so we get the date and the 2030. And of course, the, we have the addition of the United Nations, which means, does that happen on that day? Does the United Nations step in to take care of the catastrophe that happens when we're taken from the earth? Uh, stay tuned. Also, uh, according to stexpanded.fandom.com, there was actually in, in uh, Star Trek, a USS America, or NCC-1011, which was a Constitution-class Federation starship in service in the 23rd century. So we've got the date again, 1011, and 23. And the ship's relatively low registry suggested that it was a refit from the same class of ship that the USS Constellation had been. And if we look at the write-up for it, it says USS America, Registry NCC 1011, Constitution Class Heavy Cruiser, status destroyed. So this this does not bode well for the USS America. It was destroyed, and possibly not for America itself, which seems to be coming under judgment. Now, uh, a couple of movies that I was watching, I guess, a couple weeks ago, uh, Fugitive Nights, Danger in the Desert, 1993. Somewhere around the middle of the movie, I think there was a fraud poster that appeared, and you can see that up at the top. And so this, this apparently seemed to be putting out a message. And then I looked, uh, I was watching another movie, The Wrong Box, from 1966. And there's a scene here where Michael Caine says, she's sending back that statue we sent her, says it's a fraud. So they're in two different movies. Here are two instances of the word fraud. Um, and then in the same movie, in the wrong box, there, there's an instance of 10-11. So we're back to the same 10-11 theme. In one, in one instance, there's an apartment with the number 10, and then a minute or so later, there's an apartment with the number 11, 10-11. So is Trump's fraud case somehow a prelude to the rapture? Are these signs that we're going to be seeing before 10-11 to say, get ready? 
Uh, the Autumnal Equinox 2023 was on September 23rd at 2.50 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time and 6.50 UTC, so universal time. And strong 6.50 means to defraud. Uh, and here's, the, here's an article which reads, Judge rules Trump engaged in repeated fraud, effectively deciding $250 million civil trial. And that was on 926. And here we have that number 250 from the equinox, 250 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, and that's the amount of money to be decided in the civil trial. Then there was another story in the news, at least 100 people dead as fire breaks out inside Wedding Hall in horrific tragedy. This was the Daily Express on 926. A wedding party in Iraq has ended in tragedy as at least 100 people have been killed and another 150 people have been injured following a fire outbreak. Well, if you add those two numbers together, the 100 and 150, you come up with 250. And Strong's 250 means aloes, and there's only one usage of that in John. And this was uh, Jesus' uh, death and burial. And there came also Nicodemus, which at the first came to Jesus by night and brought a mixture of myrrh and aloes, about a hundred pound weight. And some accounts say 75 pounds, and this is used for embalming the dead. Uh, but this was the first account that I found was the hundred pounds. And I think there's a reason for that because in that wedding party uh, fire, there were a hundred people killed. So I think there's a tie through to that. But this is interesting. This is, the, here's lots of clues that's, you know, saying that this fraud case and whatnot uh, the 1011 seems to follow that. Uh, oh, okay. So this, I gave this to you in the last couple of videos, I believe, and I was tracking the world population of 8.1 billion. I redid the numbers, so I updated it to 10.6 at 7 p.m., and the numbers still work. Everything looks proper. Uh, if we use the numbers projected from Pew Research, we get 2.5 billion Christians in the world today. And if we use that 179th day, the day before the, uh, the rapture on 919, or the, all those signs that we saw, that seems to be the model of it until it actually happens, uh, we still get 1.44 billion sealed Christians to go in the rapture. And if we subtract that number from 8.1 billion, we get 6.66 billion left behind. Uh, this was uh, Christina's, Patrick, Patrick Wright's late wife had that dream, and she, it was, it was a work setting dream where everyone, they saw the number 725, but nobody could find the number 811, and they were going frantic, running around crazy trying to find it. Um, and this probably has something to do with the uh, rapture and trying to fill positions at work or something like that because so many people are missing. And Patrick recall, recalls it like this, 725 was there, but no one could find 811. Well, the world never sees 8.11 billion people because the rapture prevents it. At least that's what I believe from this estimate. If we look a little bit beyond the date, uh, Patrick at End Time Watch Watchmen, this is a different Patrick now, uh, found that from Pentecost, which was on 528 this year, to 1028, which will be the partial lunar eclipse, is 153 days. So something involving the 153 happens during that time. And could this be on the partial lunar eclipse the day of the Lord beginning? It's possible. Joel 231, the sun shall be turned into darkness, the moon into blood, before the great and terrible day of the Lord come. So that's certainly possible. And then Drayton Banyan, uh, who has been working the number pi for quite a while now, gave us another clue here. He says, 2368 are the last four digits of the first 7484 digits of pi. 2368 plus 7484 equals 9852, the first occurrence of 1717 and first occurrence of 2023, and all the digits separating them 
have that same span of digits, a total of 9852 digits. Well, 2023 minus 17 is 17 times 17 plus 1717. So this seems to be really marking out the number 17. And if we look at that same, uh, if we look at the date span from 1011, which is the pers perspective rapture, to that lunar partial lunar eclipse on 1028 is 17 days. So could that map out uh, 17 days until the day of the Lord begins? Quite possible. From the completion of 726 to the completion of 1011 is 77 days and puts us at the start of 1012. The last four digits of the first 77 are the decimal point are 8620. That's its first occurrence. The last four digits of the first 8620 digits after the decimal point are 1012. That's its first occurrence. That's God again revealing the connection that he knows we're aware of now because of Dr. Zimmer between 726 and 1011. And thank you for that. Okay. Well, it looks like everything's on time for 1011. Uh, it looks like this is the second occurrence of 726 this year. And I did get that message that said twice. So this could actually be fulfillment in the rapture. I hope. <laughs> we all hope. Uh, and then we have going back to the, the names of God and the, names, the name of his country all seem to hold this date. We have seven in the seven spirits of God, the Holy Spirit. We have 26 in the numerical value of Yahweh, the Father. And then we also have 23, if you add together the positions of the Aleph and the Tav for the Son, and that mean, Aleph Tav means, uh, in Greek's concordance is, or I'm sorry, in Hebrew concordance is H853, which would be the time. And then AM is given to us by the bright morning star, which Jesus is. And Israel, for example, is God's timepiece, so that gives us the time zone. So all the information is there. And we've had one fulfillment already this year uh, in the birth of the child asteroid, and second fulfillment looks like it's coming up in a few days. Um, let's go to that bright morning star rapture scenario. I added one more thing to it uh, because we have... This is a really good scenario for the rapture, but we also have Mars down there at the bottom, which is still in Virgo. And that looks like it's already come true. That's fulfilled by war starting on the 7th in Israel. So we'll have, we don't know how that's going to play out. Maybe that's the Ezekiel 38 war, who knows. Uh, but it looks like this is the rapture scenario for 10-11 this year. And here are the dates again. Boy, I sure hope this is it. <laughs> uh, that's, that's all I have for you. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. God bless.